Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Part 3. This video tests your knowledge of intermediate Lexus and without any further ado, let's get started. Everything's in English. All you need to know. All right, how did you learn to speak English? The rules of the game are extremely simple. You're going to see sentences with the word highlighted and you need to guess the meaning of the word and choose one of the four options that is closest in meaning. If you got all the answers correct, write millionaire down below. If you made mistakes, let me know which words were the most challenging for you. Question 1. Earthquakes occur frequently in parts of California, which is why many people are already used to them. The word frequently in this sentence is closest in meaning to A. Rarely, B. Annually, C. Spontaneously, and D. Often. You will now have 10 seconds to think about the right answer. Then we will discuss it together. Ready to learn the correct answer? It is D. Frequently means regularly or often, so the sentence I see him quite frequently means the same as I see him often. In terms of annually, it means once a year, while rarely is the complete opposite of frequently and means not often. Question 2. I'm trying to cut down on caffeine because I feel that it's not good for my health. The phrasal verb cut down on in this sentence means a increase, b cut, c consume less, and d cut it out. We have some phrasal verbs here. Keep in mind that while all the highlighted words are all intermediate level, some of the options may be more advanced. This ensures that you do not choose the correct answer simply by eliminating the incorrect options, but that you try to understand the meaning of the highlighted word. Also, it's a great chance to learn some more advanced vocabulary. So, sink your teeth into this question. The right answer is C. Consume less. I want to consume less caffeine, which means drink less coffee or soda, as they are the major sources of caffeine, because it's not good for my health. Let's discuss the phrasal verbs that we use here a bit. Cut down has several meanings. We can physically cut down things such as trees, for example. Cut down is also the synonym of another phrasal verb, cut back, when it means to reduce something in quantity. We can use both of them with a preposition on if they are followed by a noun. For instance, I ate too much sugar, I really need to cut back. But you really need to cut back on sugar. By the way, while many Americans usually use these phrasal verbs interchangeably, there is a tiny difference between them. The difference is that cut down on is used for one's own usage of something, while cut back on is to reduce something external. So, when I say that the Prime Minister cut down on cigarette smoking, I mean that he smoked less cigarettes himself. While the phrase the Prime Minister cut back on cigarette smoking implies that he caused society to reduce the amount of smoking. Finally, cut back also means to do or use less of something. I'm on a diet, I'm cutting down on fast food. This, by the way, is the exact meaning that we had in the question. As for cut it out, say it when you want to tell another person to stop their bad behavior. For instance, if your kids are running around the house yelling and screaming, you can say, cut it out, I'm trying to take a nap. Question 3. I ran out of ideas and honestly, I don't know what to do next. The phrasal verb ran out of in this sentence means A. Fail B. Run away C. Run into and D. Have no more. If you run out of something, you have no more of it left, so D is the right option here. If I ran out of ideas, it means that I came up with all the ideas I could. I can also say he ran out of time and didn't finish. As for run into someone, this verb has two meanings. 
One is to meet someone unexpectedly. For instance, I ran to my ex in the store. I didn't expect him to be there, but we met accidentally. Another definition is to hit somebody or something with a car. I can say, I ran into my ex the other day, I backed up and hit the bastard again. That's a joke, of course. The point here is that a person will think first that you accidentally met your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever, while by adding the second sentence, you explain that you used another definition of the phrasal verb. Well, question four. The president held a brief press conference to explain the situation. The word brief means A. Documented, B. Long, C. Pleasant, and D. Short. Brief is short, which makes D the right answer again. Since brief is something that lasts only for a short time, B, long, will be its exact opposite. The press conference might be pleasant, but I don't think it's the case here. Question 5. I like to hang out with my friends in the evening. The verb hang out means A. Look for B. Spend time C. Get along and D. Hang around This is quite easy. We all know that to hang out with people means to spend time together, so B is correct. We also have another phrasal verb, to get along with, which means to have a friendly relationship with somebody. For instance, I don't really get along with my sister's husband. We don't really have a friendly relationship. Maybe we even hate each other. Now, if you hang around, you usually spend time quite aimlessly. You probably heard your parents say, stop hanging around, do something useful when you were a kid. Moving on, question 6. Oil is one of the principal sources of energy. The word principal in this sentence is closest in meaning with A. Most expensive B. Most important C. Most difficult and D. Most popular The right option is B, since principle means either main or most important. Like, well, if I say that uh, her principal reason for moving is to be closer to her mother, I mean that it is her main reason. Also, did you know that principle can also be a noun? In this case, it means the person in charge of a school. I can say she was caught smoking and sent to see the principal. Question 7. The figures they use in the report are accurate. They were revised several times. The word accurate in this sentence is closest in meaning with A. Correct, B. With mistakes, C. Imprecise, and D. Nice. Accurate means correct or exact. We can use accurate information or accurate measurements, so A is correct, while imprecise is the opposite of accurate and means not exact or not accurate. I might have said that the figures they used in the report are imprecise. Somebody has to revise them. See, the meaning is totally different. Finally, question 8. Tenants over 62 can apply for benefits at the Office of Housing for the Elderly. The word elderly in this sentence is closest in meaning with A. Poor B. Older people C. People who need aid and D. People who need housing Tenants are people who pay rent to live in a room or an apartment. So, since those over 62 can apply for the benefits, it's right to assume that these people are not very young. This means that B is the right answer. In fact, elderly is a more polite word for old and is used to describe people. By the way, 
You probably know that by adding the definite article to the adjective elderly, we might turn it into a noun. For instance, elderly people can be changed to the elderly, or poor people can be changed or substituted by the poor. You will probably agree that the poor and the rich should have equal rights when it comes to voting. I mean, poor people and rich people. But since I used the article, I no longer need to say the word people. If you answered most of the questions without problems, you have quite a good level of English, maybe even better than you expected. If that wasn't the case and you struggled a lot during the test, don't worry, since you can go from beginner to strong intermediate in just a month with the help of our course from elementary to intermediate. It will provide you with a solid grammar foundation, help you work on your intonation and pronunciation and will also remove the language barrier since you will learn the most relevant vocabulary. The course is about to start really soon, so make sure to sign up to reserve your spot. Click the link in the description and get a promo code created specifically for our YouTube subscribers. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. I'm very excited to see how many millionaires we have. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.